Well, Liz Truss said she was prepared to be unpopular in putting forward and implementing the policies she believed in. But already we have seen a major U-turn today on one of her government's key pledges. Now, make no mistake about it, I think some Conservative MPs aren't exactly giving her an easy time. And this reflects the power dynamic, of course, of trust being the Conservative membership's choice, but not the choice of the parliamentary party. And you're seeing her authority, in some respects, ripped apart during this conference by her own MPs. It's coming across to me, I must say, that some Tory MPs aren't even prepared to give her a chance. And it looks to me like they're trying to get her out before the next general election because they don't believe in her. They don't believe in her policy platform. And you've got to remember, the ideas that Trust has put forward are very different from the platform that Rishi Sunak was standing on. Of course, many MPs were supporting Rishi Sunak. You had on this uh, tax vote around 70 Conservative MPs apparently considering voting against the move. You then had uh, Grant Shapps come out and basically warn Liz Trust that she would lose a vote on that policy. And so today you saw the U-turn from Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng abandoning uh, this pledge to abolish the 45p rate of income tax. Now what that means of course is that once you U-turn on such a major policy so early on, you know, Conservative MPs, the Labour Party and others will know now that if they stick it on the Trust government, they can get a U-turn out of it. And I just want to highlight the reality of what the British public make of all of this outside of some of the hysteria we have seen from the mainstream media. And I think, you know, the Conservatives would be well advised not to keep falling into this trap of allowing the media to whip up hysteria on Twitter and other places that isn't reflected in British public opinion. I'll show you what I mean. Redfield and Wilton here at the end of September, so this is very recent, asking Brits what they think about the current level of taxation in the UK. Because I've seen some nonsense uh, from some commentators that there isn't support for cutting taxes in the UK. Well, look, 42% of the country say that taxes are too high versus 29% who say the tax burden's about right and 11% who say it's too low. In terms of Conservative voters there, you see a lot of support, 43% saying that the level of taxation is too high. When you look at Labour voters, 50% there saying that the tax burden is too high. And when you drill into uh, actually the specific measures in this budget, and I highlighted this by the way in my newsletter today, uh, go to heva.news to sign up and get that delivered to your inbox. You see here big support for some of the measures in this mini budget. 70% of Brits support the cap on energy bills, 60% support the cut to basic rate of income tax, 58% support scrapping the NI increase and 56% there support the changes to stamp duty. So there's actually a lot of things in this budget that have a lot of public support, majority of Brits supporting them. The unpopular moves are removing the cap on bankers' bonuses, 57%. And then also when it comes to that specific policy that's now been abandoned, cutting the top rate of income tax, yes, 44% of Brits oppose that policy. But 32% of voters actually support it. Although it's not particularly popular, it does have some uh, public support. It is not as cut and dry as some are trying to push. How many of you watching this video, and do let me know in the comments below, have you lost faith? Has your perception of the trust government changed due to this U-turn? Or do you just think this is Conservative rebels uh, causing trouble for the new PM? Fascinated to hear what you make of this one, guys. Do let me know in the comments below. Do whack this video a quick thumbs up, please. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.